V mes je bilo kar nekaj interakcijah, glede kvintiljonov, koliko na potenco je. Odlično je, da imamo take interakcije. Roboti se učijo od robotov, ljudje pa se največ naučimo od ljudi. Hvala lepa za vsem, ki sodelujete. Mi pa imamo že tri nove objave, upam, ki spet uvajajo našo naslednjo temo. Vidite jih na zaslonu, imate jih na aplikacijah, sistem je enako kot prej. Ušečkajte pravilne, popravite nam napačno. Doslej smo predvsej govorili o trendih, dotaknili smo se tudi zelo konkretnih primerov podjetji, ki znajo ta svoja imetja, bodi si v obliki znanja, bodi si v obliki podatkov pretvoriti v produktivnost, v dobiček. Zdaj pa gremo pogledati nekaj zgodb, ki govorijo zelo konkretne nauke. To niso podjetja, ki se ukvarjajo s super pametnimi ali pa ne tako pametnimi napravami v vaših gospodinstvih, so pa podjetja, ki so v marsičem podobna lahko tudi vam. Več o tem bo povedal Stefan Batsdorf. Stefan Batsdorf je predprodajni strokovnjak za SAP S4 HANA in z nami bo s pomočjo nekaj zanimivih gostov delil zgodbo, ki govori tudi o sodelovanju in zgodbo, ki govori o medsebojni odvisnosti. Stefan, I have just announced you. I promised our audience here today that you will tell us a story with the help of some interesting guests about collaboration and dependence. Please welcome on stage. The floor is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, and welcome back, everybody, from this short break. And uh, still, you have to endure some time uh, before lunch break. Um, I was told to speed up a bit because we are quite ahead the uh, behind schedule. Um, so let's do this. Um, I will take you onto a journey on the digital transformation, and I've brought with me uh, two nice customers that also give you an experience about their transformation into SAP S4 HANA. So let's start. In the beginning, there was darkness, and then there was S4 HANA, and there was light. No, I'm just joking. Um, but the reason is, why should you care about SAP S4 HANA? And the reason is, and you have heard it multiple times today, Jeremy told it, the world around us is constantly changing. We have different expectations towards us in private life. There are converse, conversational apps. There are intelligent augmented reality and artificial intelligence. And this poses a lot of threats also to companies. If you think into your way, uh, how we play, how we watch, for example, today, how we talk together, or how we shop, it's radically changing the world how we do, do business today. And the technology trends that are out there, for example, 3D printing, we have uh, blockchain, we have virtual reality and augmented reality, artificial intelligence, and also the IoT sensors are creating disruption towards our companies. And if you think into your company, this also poses a lot of internal challenges. The technology that you have, the core ERP that you are currently running, might not be able to cope with the massive data. The innovations you heard about, like blockchain, artificial intelligence, and so on, you want to bring into business, into life. This also faces a lot of threat to your people. By 2025, 80% of your workforce will be digital natives, will be millennials. They don't want to work with the GUI. And this also creates a lot of disruption towards your business. So what companies would like to have are faster transactions to make smarter decisions and to have a very crisp and transparent process. So let's have a look at the ingredients of SAP S4 HANA. First of all, technology. Everything is about real-time in SAP S4 HANA. We have the HANA database, the in-memory database, where all the data that you need to process are stored inside a single database. And we only cope with the uh, single source of truth with the data. Then we have all the innovations. We start to implement not only to, not only to innovate the processes, but we also start to implement new technologies like uh, blockchain and also conversational applications. 
When it's about the people, we use smart digital assistants like the SAP Copilot, where your, uh, your colleagues, for example, could use the Copilot to ask for anything information, like show me all the paid sales orders from a customer Avantel, and not searching it and not calling a transaction to this. And with the combination of the innovations, we create what we call smart business. We create standardized business processes like an optimized order to cash that helps you to efficiently run your company. So SAP S4 HANA is all about the combination of business transactions with the intelligent insights. In SAP S4 HANA, we combine classical transactions with analytical dashboards, analytical insights. You do not search anymore for information, for example, uh, via BW report. The system is intelligent enough to tell you these are the critical open sales orders that you need to process because here you have 1.3 billion euros bound um, in critical sales orders. How can you adapt SAP S4 HANA? How can you move on into a digital transformation journey? There are two types of customers. First of all, we have below the installed base customers. All these nice 390,000 customers that already use SAP software. Thank you for this. But then we also have new customers. We have roughly about one-third of the customers that bought SAP S4 HANA are net new customers that have never been an SAP customer before. For all of these customers, if you tr start the journey towards SAP S4 HANA, it's good to start with the SAP Transformation Navigator. What's this about? It's a free online tool, and the SAP Transformation Navigator helps you to map your current existing landscape with all the products, all the systems that you had, not only ERP, but also BW, an integration, a portal, etc., an Ariba system, to map it and then we transform this into the future landscape and roadmap of SAP S4 HANA. So we give you a customer-specific landscape of your system, of your IT, how it could evolve based on SAP S4 HANA and all the products around. And we also map the um, roadmap and the strategic innovations towards this. For the net new customers, it's always good if you're new to SAP, if you want to install SAP S4 HANA, first think about the cloud and start with cloud first. For example, we have the S4 HANA public cloud. The S4 HANA public cloud is really software as a service. It's a complete ERP, complete like with the core ERP processes. We have finance, we have sales, we have procurement. We also have even manufacturing. Let's take a manufacturing company like Atlantic Grupa in Croatia, and I worked with them, and we did a mapping. They are totally on-premise bound, but we could map and completely map their production processes to the S4HANA public cloud. It would fit from the process-wise. If the customer decides that the public cloud, for example, would not really fit because they're missing some utilities functionality or oil and gas functionality, take ROM Petrol or Petrol like a company, then, for example, the S4 HANA private option could be uh, an, an option, because in the S4 HANA private option, it's also public cloud, but here we have all industries available that you know from the on-premise SAP S4 HANA, combined with the full legacy scope of an S4 HANA on-premise. And if the customer says, cloud is nothing for me because I'm totally fearing about the data and so on, and don't think it, I would like to host the system inside my premises, then of course an S4 HANA on-premise could be an option. Now take the installed base customers. These are customers that already have an SAP system installed, 10 years, 15 years old, highly configured, highly customized, a lot of custom code. What are the options that these customers could take on the journey? First of all, they could start with a greenfield implementation. Start from scratch, start new. I do a new installation of an SAP S4 HANA system. They could also take their existing system and upgrade it, so convert it to SAP S4 HANA by keeping all the information. And then we have customers that have multiple ERP systems that want to combine them, and that's the landscape transformation. If you start new, if you say, as a customer, I really want to leverage the new innov innovations of SAP S4 HANA. I want to change my business processes for the better. I want to do better things now. Then, for example, a new installation is really good. 
If you're fancy of the cloud, here also you can start thinking about moving to the cloud because cloud is always greenfield. But if you want to stay on premise, you buy the hardware, you install SAP S4 HANA, and then you have to configure it. And in order to really shrink the space of, uh, let's say, a long three years blueprinting phase, you could, for example, use the model company. The SAP, S4, the SAP model companies are best practice implementation of S4 HANA. They are available for industries, but also uh, for line of businesses like core banking. And then you can use this model company. You have a head start. You install SAP S4 HANA, and it's configured, let's say, 60 70 80% already. And then you only need to do the data configuration. If you want to do a brownfield installation, then it's always good to start with the SAP S4 HANA readiness check. What is the readiness check? The readiness check analyzes your whole system, whether you're ready, whether your system is ready to move to SAP S4 HANA. It's a free of charge service. You have to install a node and then several other nodes in your productive system. And we analyze this. We check what are the add-ons and business functions that you have installed, whether they are workable on SAP S4 HANA. We do a sizing what is the needed data source and uh, um, uh, terabyte level that you need. We also check based on your transaction history what are the Fiori applications you could use. We also map and list you those GUI transactions that have been deleted in SAP S4 HANA. So you know directly where you need to change and adapt your business process. <laughs> then we have a long list of simplification items, all those things that have been deleted and are gone in SAP S4 HANA compared to the classical ERP. We find out only those, we map you only those items that are relevant for you. And last but not least, yes, we do also a custom code check and custom code analysis. So whether you have 20,000 lines of uh, 20,000 custom code objects, we give you a list of those 5,000 objects that you need to touch to change. And we also explain you and show you in the tool what you need to do. And last but not least, we have customers that have multiple ERP systems. Here, it's always good a strategy to merge them into one single system. So to conclude it, the big picture is as such. So you have various strategies to adopt SAP S4 HANA. You need to find out your personal journey into the new world, into the digital core of SAP S4 HANA. And now we have, um, I have multiple uh, two customers brought with me here on stage.